Ever since Super Bowl 52 wrapped up, NFL fans around the world have been counting down the days for the 2018 season to kick off. While the first games are still a while away, at least fans can rejoice about the official schedule being released. Even before the schedule came out, certain games could be marked right off the bat when opponents were pinpointed for each team. Between divisional rivalries, division leaders squaring off and some nice crossovers between the AFC and NFC, some games will have fans waiting on the edge of their seats for weeks in anticipation. While there are a ton of options out there for fans to enjoy, we decided to help out by putting together the best 10 games of the 2018 NFL season. Without further ado, check out the list below. This rivalry was last relevant in the days where Colin Kaepernick was roaming under center for the San Francisco 49ers, but it looks like the men in red, white and gold are rebuilding in a big way heading into the 2018 season. The 49ers' entire franchise changed for the better when they traded with the New England Patriots to get Jimmy Garoppolo as their franchise quarterback. While the 49ers waited out on the Jimmy G experiment, they eventually put him under center and got impressive results. Now, they'll get to see him in a full season with some great weapons around him. Meanwhile, the Seahawks aren't exactly what they used to be back when this rivalry was dominating the NFC. Russell Wilson doesn't have the same support offensively that he once had, the Legion of Boom has since disbanded, and things aren't looking as promising for the 12s. However, it doesn't take away from the impact of these games overall. The biggest piece of this rivalry this season will be the 49ers' addition of Richard Sherman to their roster. Sure, it can be viewed as just gaining a supreme talent to load up their secondary, but there's undoubtedly some animosity towards Sherman's former squad involved in the signing, and this revenge game will be huge when Sherman heads to Seattle for the first time. NFL fans are lucky enough to get two games between these two teams, with one in Seattle and one in Santa Clara. In the end, one of them is bound to be solid and we could see a new threat emerging in the NFC West by the time their season series comes to a close. Page 2 CLEVELAND, O, oh, December 10, 2017, defensive end Miles Garrett. This doesn't seem like it should be considered one of the games of the year, mainly because of the fact that it includes the Cleveland Browns in it. But, if you hear me out, you'll see exactly why they're a team to watch out for, and a team with potential for a huge clash with the AFC North's king. The Pittsburgh Steelers have long dominated the AFC North, with first or second place viewed as the normal expectation when it comes to the black and yellow. However, it helps when you know one of the four teams in your division is going to roll over before the season even starts. In this case, that was the Cleveland Browns for the last, well, a very long time. Now, the Browns are in the midst of another rebuild, with this one looking like it'll actually stick. They're adding weapons all over the place, with the NFL draft giving them tons to work with alongside their signings of Jarvis Landry and Tyrod Taylor. They're in it for the long haul now, and could be a threat in the AFC North for the Steelers. They'll get two chances this season to see if the Browns are legit in the division, or if the Steelers will stomp their hopes to the ground before they can even take flight. However, with an aging Ben Roethlisberger, endless controversy with Levy and Bell and the Steel Curtain no longer a factor, things could get interesting when these two face off. Both teams will get a home game out of this in 2018, and this could be the chance to get the dog pound back to its usual self if the Browns can make a run at the Steelers in 2018. Either way, it'll be a game to mark on your calendars whenever it rolls around. Page 3 KANSAS City, Mo, December 10, tight end Travis Kelsey. This rivalry between the Oakland Raiders and Kansas City Chiefs has been a fun one to pay attention to AFC West over the last few years, and some big changes this offseason will provide a fresh look at the division's top two teams. For starters, John Gruden has taken over the reins as the Raiders' head coach once again, with a huge load of talent on his roster to work with. Derek Carr will likely be back to being his healthy self under center, and the rest of the offense will return to its usual success with their star back to full strength. On the other end, Alex Smith is gone in Kansas City, and young gun Patrick Mahomes is taking over as the team's new quarterback. This will signal a big change in the team's game plan, along with a big signing of Sammy Watkins for the team's wide receiver core. The whole division will be competitive this year, with the Denver Broncos back in the fray with either Case Keenum, Paxton Lynch or a rookie starting at quarterback and the Los Angeles Chargers still in the fray. With all four teams in the mix, the two games between the Raiders and Chiefs will have a ton of implications for the divisional standings towards the end of the year. These two always put on a show when they play each other, like their Thursday night battle last season that came down to the wire. 
If they can continue that pace they always have, they'll be putting on two of the best games of the season. Page 4 Use your arrows to browse Detroit Me, August 25, 2017. Wide receiver Julian Edelman The NFC North is wide open in 2018, and the Detroit Lions are looking to make some noise with a new head coach to lead the way. However, they'll have to get through some of the best teams in the league if they want to go far into the postseason. With the Minnesota Vikings crushing teams on their way to the top of the division in 2017, it seems like they'd be the team to look out for as the 2018 starts. However, the Green Bay Packers will get a healthy Aaron Rodgers back in the lineup to compete with, and the Lions are a brand new squad with Matt Patricia now coaching them up on the sidelines. Any games between NFC North opponents will be huge, but the ones outside of the division will be even bigger. In this case, the biggest game outside of the division for the Lions will come against Patricia's old team, the New England Patriots. The Patriots, despite all of the changes made this offseason, are still going to be one of the top teams in the AFC, and will give all of the NFC North a run for their money in 2018. If Lions want to gain ground on their divisional counterparts, this game will be huge. This one could be a bust depending on how the Lions start the season, but it could also turn into one of the bigger games to mark on your calendar when the season kicks off in September. Use your arrows to browse.